co-parenting in a box is my way of bringing together everything that you need as a parent whilst you've got this ongoing situation. This is not just about breaking up. This is how you carry on living while sharing something so precious, which is your children, on an ongoing basis. How do you make that work? How do you coexist with someone that you don't live with anymore? Avoid getting into horrible situations, deal with the difficult stuff, keep the lines of communication open and stay out of the pitfalls that many couples fall into by ending up fighting over their children in court. It's not an easy task. It includes a wealth of specially created videos uh, and interviews with experts in law, finance, well-being, health. You know that the way you behave towards the other parent has a direct impact on your children. You know that. Your kids don't need to be the victims of a broken family. They can just be an extended family. But there's big pitfalls that couples can often fall into, especially in the early stages of divorce and separation. So it's really useful to have some guidance. So, why would anyone need co-parenting in a box? Uh, the full pack is mostly videos, uh, interviews, uh, lots of resources. It kind of got everything together in one place that you need, really. The full box, the full co-parenting in a box, is a culmination of several years of my um, involvement in this area. And it's a lot of the resources, not ones that I've, that I've just found and put together, but resources I've created specifically. Interviews I've had with experts in law, finance, well-being, health, parenting, and that I've put together. And others that have already got these great videos, mainly because I think videos is just a fantastic way to, to learn and be inspired. You're different to the next person. Everyone's situation is different. But what I do is put together all the tools that you need, whether that's parenting advice or access to experts who can answer your questions and help you move forward. Experts in law, in finance, in parenting, lots of one-to-one -one interviews, fantastic advice and help from key professionals. Questions like, do I need a lawyer? How much is this whole separation, divorce thing gonna cost? Um, how do I make sure that it doesn't mess up my kids? How can I best protect my kids from the toxic effects of divorce and separation? Because it's not just what I do, there's another person involved, right? I've tried to create a resource that's gonna really allow parents, singly or together, to make a real difference to how they approach co-parenting. Apart from avoiding getting into difficult situations, what happens if things have already gone sour? It's best not to burn your bridges as you go along, but even if you have burnt most of your bridges and things are in a right state, there's always so many things that you can still do. And it all starts with you. And it's worth it. Because you have a massive incentive. Your child or your children, they are worth it. You don't have to make huge sacrifices or compromises. You need to just start to see things differently. And that's one of the many things that co-parenting in a box can offer you. That opportunity to find ways and the inspiration and the guidance to see your situation from a different perspective and to be open to perhaps sometimes more creative and intelligent ways of dealing with a situation rather than just using the blunt instrument of the law. Why did I create co-parenting in a box? Well, because it wasn't there for me. I didn't have a co-parenting in a box resource when I found myself standing outside my house with three young children and the relationship over and not a clue on how I was gonna manage. To be able just to access all that in one place, whoa, that would have been fantastic. So that's why I created it. Because when you learn things, when you, when you gather great information, when you meet amazing people, and I've you know, video interviewed lots of experts in these fields and asked them specific questions, particularly for this resource, then obviously I wanted to put it together and share it. It's the kind of advice that you should be getting from wise elders, but we don't have those anymore. So I've kind of gone around and gathered that information. Don't let one angry parent ruin everything for you. you know, how, how can you step out of the ring? How can you mitigate the effects of that? I 
have experts in the box who can help you with that and have resources that are dedicated to supporting parents in many different ways on how to step out of the ring and how to mitigate the harmful effects of, of anger, anger and conflict that often um, is unfortunately not always something we can control in another person but we can certainly control it in ourselves so learning how to react how to deal with these things can completely transform the experience of divorce and breakup and the ongoing relationship because let's face it this can go on for years and often does if you don't do something about it people like to say that kids are resilient and they can cope well yes they can but you know why should they have to you know they've got more important things to be thinking about as they grow up than dealing with their parents uh, anger and unhappiness your children just want you to be happy you have a duty to your children to find a better way of co-parenting no matter how difficult that situation may be and that can be from one extreme where there's abuse where your responsibility is to be safe right through to the other end of the scale where it's how do you deal with Christmas with your ex because you kind of you get on okay but you know, how do you keep that relationship healthy in ways that's still being true to yourself because your children don't want you to put on an act they want you to be you and they want you to be happy so you need to do a little bit of work on yourself it's not just about how you deal with the other person but that's fun that's part of the joy of this whole experience <laughs> I'm laughing but you know I often say to people it's the best thing that ever happened to me which sounds a bit mad when you're right in the middle of it and I, I always say to people look yeah, you're, this won't make any sense to you now but when you talk to people who've come through where they found solutions they found ways to work with the other parents whatever their situation might have been Wow, it's magic, you know, what you learn on that journey is quite incredible. And your children watch you learn, your children watch you on that journey. That's very precious learning for them. It's exciting to make that commitment to yourself, to your children, to your family, whatever form that family takes. Incredible. Yeah, let's just take some of the help that's out there, some of the wisdom, some of the, the fantastic resources available and make the most of them. Incredible. I don't have a broken family. My family is an extended family. And I want yours to be too.